Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Elton here. So, we are gonna today talk about one of the really, really hot topics right now, which is cryptocurrency. And especially the last week, the markets has been bleeding so bad, it's been 20 30% loss across the board. And some of you have been asking me, how am I dealing with it? How do I approach it? And um, some of you have been asking, is it the right time to get in, especially if I missed out on the hype train at the start? Is this dip the right time to get in? And also, how do I just buy cryptocurrency in general? So, just gonna share my experience. For me, I started cryptocurrency back in November 2017. Yeah, November 2017 when it was the Bitcoin bull run back then. And one Bitcoin was worth, I think, around 30,000 Malaysian Ringgit for one Bitcoin. And I actually doubled and tripled my investment back then, which I was super happy because as an 18 year old and just getting like 4K, 5K, in terms of profit, that was super super big for me and I sold all my all my holdings back then and yeah, looking back, I totally regretted it so that's my story and so after that, I've been slowly accumulating back now and it hasn't been at the level of profit since then but I totally trust in the technology behind it but if you're saying, are you too late to join party? I say not really because if you actually look at mainstream adoption, although companies are buying into it and adopting it, you can't really go to your local store and just say, I want to pay in Bitcoin. It just doesn't work that way, alright? So mainstream adoption, not really, really there. You are sort of in the middle to this. It's like the dot-com boom like that. So most, I feel most coins are probably going to die off. And yeah, pick your character as they say, so pick your coins. Right, so before we get to the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, totally make my day, help people figure, find out this video if they're new to cryptocurrency, and yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so just a disclaimer, this is not financial advice, all this um, is based on my experience trading crypto, and I'm just sharing my experience with you. So yeah, take it with a pinch of salt, and move on. So. Actually, I sold off all my Bitcoin back in 2019 when one Bitcoin was worth 6,000 Malaysian Ringgit. Yes, it was that low and I kind of regret it, but I already made two to three times gains back then, so I didn't know and it was a lot for me back then, so I was like really happy about it. But looking back in hindsight, probably wasn't the best decision. So yeah, let's not talk about it moving forward to the 2020 bull run. Uh, I started to take more interest and started like trying to do research and understanding different coins, what's the technology, what the projects are doing behind them. And these three coins really caught my eye and this app is like my favorite three coins. Other people might have their favorite three coins. I don't know, three is like the magic number, everyone has their favorite three. So for me it's Cardano, XRP and Tron TRX. And I'm not super rich so I didn't like invest one shot. Um, in like a lot so I actually accumulated over a period of time and my current investment how much I invested in was 1300 USD at the peak of the Cardano and XRP bull run it actually went up to 2700 USD but after the crash it's now 1500 USD so I'm kind of still in the green and you might be asking why did I not sell off when it was that high because for me I don't know when to sell and I sold off back in 2019, I regretted that, so I'm actually holding it for like a 5 year period to see how it goes um, because I trust in probably another 3 to 5 times gains in this 5 years alone um, and also Bitcoin halvening happen happens every 4 years or so, so I kind of want to be there for it so yeah, that's my strategy, I'm trying to hold for a 5 year time period so if you actually look and purchase and do your cryptocurrency trading based on um, everyday fluctuations, like every week fluctuations it's kind of hard for someone new and you don't understand everything uh, and you'll be really really stressed because you wouldn't know when to buy, when to sell and you will lose a lot, honestly, just saying so I try not to do that and go for the long term so what my strategy is to actually uh, accumulate this coins actually using DCA which is dollar cost averaging and yeah, it has been work for me so far um, DCA every week, so I take my forex earnings, I put half into a savings, which is USDT, and the other half I used to spend on cryptocurrency, which buy whichever coins that I like. And I try to balance my portfolio so it 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 doesn't really like some weeks I buy certain coins and some weeks I buy certain other coins just to make my portfolio see more balance. 
and yeah that's my strategy another thing i look into other than the current price is actually the fear and greed index you can actually go search it out put the link down below so what warren buffett says be greedy when other people are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy so i tentatively don't buy into the hype i don't like to buy into the hype so when the index is at real extreme greed or greed i try not to invest even though it's like a weekly thing i hold off for that week until it drops between greed like below greed then i'll start buying it uh, especially like last week when it dropped so much it was that fear that is when i start buying it more so that's my like two-step um, strategy towards investing into, into cryptocurrency and another thing i advise people not to do even though you like it and it probably earns you a lot is shit coins please don't invest in the shit coins i know it can bring you a lot of profit but personally there's nothing i feel like there's no technology or no value behind it so it might drop to zero and you might lose all your life savings so yeah please don't do that but it's your money do whatever you want with it and yeah okay so this part is for someone who is really really new to cryptocurrency and i would say there are actually two platforms you can trade cryptocurrency in malaysia one is luno one is binance and the difference is that one is licensed by the se of malaysia and the other one is not but you see Luno is actually only available in Malaysia and Singapore, if I'm not mistaken, while Binance is actually one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. Um, so let's go break down some of the difference. So in terms of how you put in your money, Luno uses a direct transfer from your bank or your card, while Binance is actually P2P trading. As you go check it out, you see different rates and you trade with different traders um, for money and they give your coins. Simple as that. And then fees, Luno technically has a bit higher fees. They charge you on fees on transactions, charge you fees on depositing. While Binance, there's not much fees. What you see is what you get. And then Luno, there's actually only five coins which you can trade, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. It's a good place to start, no doubt, for Malaysians. It's a very simple to use platform. Not so complicated as Binance but what you get with Binance is almost all the coins that's a lot of coins to choose from so yeah and another thing with um, Luno is that you, this is a favorite thing about why I use Binance instead of Luno I switch over it's um, Luno doesn't have staking while Binance does have staking so what is staking actually I'm just gonna read up from here um, because it's pretty long um, Staking is another way to earn coins without actually having to invest more money into it. It's something similar to mining, right? Except you don't have to spend so much money to buy the mining rig and spend so much electricity just getting the rig up and running. Although you earn way less coins, right? So I'm just going to read this. Staking is a less resource intensive alternative to mining. It involves holding funds in a cryptocurrency wallet to support the security and operations of a blockchain network. Um, simply put, staking is the act of locking cryptocurrencies to receive rewards. It's like FD for cryptocurrency. And instead of using proof of work, like Bitcoin mining, all those, which Elon Musk says is bad for the environment, um, staking is actually using a proof of stake, which actually, yes, FD is proof that you have these coins and use the coins to work for you. So, yeah, that's why I actually love um, Binance, is because of this staking option, which I'm reading. I can't memorize that shit. So yeah. If you're new to cryptocurrency, I suggest you probably start off on Luno, uh, figure out how it works. And that's a very, very simple platform to start off. But once you get more, and you understand more about the whole platform and the whole market kind of thing, I feel like it's better you switch to Binance. There's way more options, way more coins, uh, way more utilities there. And I feel like you're gonna have way more fun there. So yeah, that's about it. That's basically my um, experience with trading cryptocurrency over the past four years. Um, yeah, this video is really like just free flow talking about it. I'm, I have a sort of rough script, but yeah. So if you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. You can actually connect with me if you want to just discuss more. Um, my socials are down below. Or you can drop a comment down below and I'll just reply to you. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next week and hollow jumps.